So I like to try to watch uh, my noir member films in the morning because I always like get concerned that I will like run out of time at night or get too tired or whatever. So I wake up early and watch noir and it's kind of a great way to start the day. So I started the day with some Red Scare uh, anti-communist propaganda film noir, the best kind. Uh, this was called Shack Out on 101. It was directed by Edward Dean, and it was written by Edward and Mildred Dean. I believe they were a married couple who made films together. On the poster, the two really big names are Terry Moore and Frank Lovejoy. And then the two like smaller names are Keenan Wynn and Lee Marvin. And Lee Marvin is totally the star of this movie. So he's like number four on listed, but he's totally the star of this movie. But that's partly because... In, you know, this is early in his career, but as he ascended, Lee Marvin became one of the most um, popular and iconic film actors ever. So, you know, even when he's just the fourth guy, he's still um, the lead. So this came out in 1955, right at the height of the Red Scare. It's, it almost all takes place uh, in this one diner out on the 101, which I think is hilarious that they call it shack out on 101 um like other people in america know where that is like it's the 101 goes through la uh, heads out to the beach but you know whatever this is made in la and it's about uh so the shop is or the shack this diner shitty ass diner with pie 20 cents a slice uh is run by keenan Wynn. he probably bought it on his um what do they call it the GI Bill, because he he and his buddy talk about um, coming back from the war. And he has his waitress, played by Terry Moore, and his shitty short order cook named Slob, played by Lee Marvin. And then Frank Lovejoy is a professor who is doing secret atomic testing at the uh, university nearby, and he's also dating Terry Moore. But very early on, you discover that Lee Marvin's character is actually in the communist, and he's um, giving secrets to somebody. And maybe so is the professor. Oh, God. And then you have to sort of figure, root out who is the communist and who is, you know, a good old American hero. Um, that's the movie. It's it's a gr it's a B movie for sure, um, but I, I do quite enjoy these sort of Red Scare films because some of them are really subtle in their like communists are bad, and some of them are like not subtle at all and are just like the way the people talk is is not realistic at all. This is one of those not realistic at all films, but it was still really fun to watch. Um, again, this was 1955's Shack Out on 101. Directed by Edward Dean, written by Edward and Mildred Dean, and you can get it from Olive Films, and I highly recommend it.